Hi, I'm Belinda Allen, and I have a tiny tip for you for Microsoft Power BI. What we're going to do is take our customer balances and put them on a map so we could see from a geographical perspective where our balances are. But before we do that, I want to talk about the fields, and this is the, where the tip is. We have an address line for the street address, I have a city, I have a state, and I have a zip code or a postal code. And you notice that some of the fields in this particular query have an icon there, like the customer credit limit amount and the customer balance. They have a sigma to indicate that's a numerical value. And then available credit and the report title have a calculator to indicate that's a measure. But there's nothing for my addresses. And what I want to do is set those so that Power BI not only recognizes them as text, but recognizes that they are a geographical representation. So I'm going to start with address, just click on it, and you'll notice automatically I get to column tools. And you can see my data type is text, so that's fine. But what we're going to do is come over here to this data category, click on the drop down list, and now you can see there are a lot of different options where I could define these as geographical. So I'm going to say this is an address. And now when I finish, I have a globe next to the address. So now I know that that field is specific to geography. And I'm going to do the same for city here. And then I'm going to come down to state. And I'm going to do the same for state. And one of the big reasons why you would want to do this, it states a great example in the US, we have the state of Georgia. But there's also a country of Georgia. And no doubt somewhere there's a city called Georgia. So how would Power BI know which of those to use? And this is how we tell it. And then finally, my zip code, I'm going to come in and make this the postal code. So now I have all of my fields represented. So if I come in and add in this map visual, I'm using the just the regular map visual. I'm going to come in, first of all, on the size, I'm going to put in the customer balance. And I'm going to go ahead and take the salesperson and put that in the legend. So let's start populating the location. I'm just going to do this one pretty simple. I'm going to come in and just put in the state and the zip code. And so now I can see, I'm going to zoom in on the US here, I could see, oh, well, let's look at North America as a whole. I could see where my balances are, and I could highlight them and see which state they're in, salesperson, and so forth. And now, this is how I can let Power BI know specifically that these are location fields and what they represent. I hope this tiny tip helps.